Hello and welcome to week three of Inside the SCCBL. As always, I'm your host Dave Soberai, proud to bring you all the highlights and interviews from the previous week. League play is underway and we've already had several amazing games. The standings currently shake up like this. The legends are red hot and off to a great 6-0 league start. Long Beach is on a roll, winning 13 of its past 14 games. And now let's take a look at the leaders for the legends. Hugo Rodriguez is the epitome of a leadoff hitter, leading the team in batting average with a 395 clip and in stolen bases with an astounding 17. Matt Chavez has been a man on a mission, scoring a team high 15 runs. And Ray Patchen has been raking all summer long, proving why he earned that Cal State San Marcos scholarship as he leads the team with 18 RBI. Danny Itner has a microscopic 0.43 ERA. And Cameron McKenzie has been electric on the bump with 21 strikeouts. Palm Springs suffered its first and only defeat to the Pirates, but remains poised to take home a third consecutive SCCBL crown and have responded nicely with wins ever since. Antonio Chavarria has an uncanny 467 batting average. TJ Bennett leads the team with 18 runs and is also tied with Jake Howarth for the lead in RBIs with 13. Kyle Crawford remains filthy, striking out nearly nine batters every outing. And Ryan DeJesus keeps steamrolling past the hitters with his 0.69 ERA. Team San Diego is 4-5 in league play and 12-10 overall. They picked up a big league victory on Tuesday over the Heat. Shane Richens has led the way and has almost been unstoppable at the dish with a 390 batting average. Meanwhile, if you want a guy to jumpstart your offense, you have to choose Alex Wick. He has 17 runs in just 19 games. Dalton Weeks has been the slugger of note with 13 RBI, while Stephen Bunnell has been superb from the bump with a 1.29 ERA. And Evan Taylor continues to lead the team in strikeouts with 22. In just five games, the Pirates have shown that they are for real. They took the power to 12 innings in their first meeting before suffering a heartbreaking defeat and then beat Palm Springs the following day. The leaders so far for Inland Valley look like this. Kyle Jackson leads the team with a 500 batting average and three RBI. Christian Kelly has the most runs with four. Cody Eralt has a 0.00 ERA and Cody Ponce has been baffling hitters in the early going of this season with nine strikeouts. The Heat continues to show improvement in the 2013 season. Aaron Cisneros has been on fire, seemingly coming up with a huge hit every single time we've seen them in our selected broadcast games this season. Lastly, the Rebels got off the schneid with their first win of the season against the Heat. Riverside is now ready to break out on a winning streak. Leading the Rebels after seven games is Zach Huber with a 478 batting average. Then Joe Battaglia has 11 runs, Randy Bruce, eight RBIs, Miguel Navarro and Brent Brown a 0.00 ERA in five innings each. And last but not least, you have last year's all SCCBL selection, Adam Quintana with 10 strikeouts. In honor of this being the most interactive show you could possibly see on the internet, we are going to reveal the votes from week one of Inside the SCCBL right now. The Inland Valley Pirates made a late push and took 46.7% of the votes. The Legends finished second with 31.8% and the Power came in third with 15%. A special thanks goes out to everyone who voted in that first poll. And because that first poll was so successful, we are unveiling a new one here for week three. This time, it will be all in your hands. It's up to you to decide where we go to broadcast the Saturday, June 29th game. The options are the Long Beach Legends versus the Glendale Angelinos in a night game from Glendale City College. The Pirates take on Team San Diego in an SCCBL League clash. The Rebels take on last year's NBC World Series champion, the Santa Barbara Foresters. 
and the High Desert Heat take on the Montebello Stars at Victorville. We've had great feedback with this poll since it opened a day ago, and it will remain open till next Wednesday at midnight on sccbaseball.com and will be revealed on Episode 4. So keep on voting for your game, and maybe we'll see you next Saturday. Now that you're all caught up, it's time to learn a little bit more about the new treasure in the league, the Inland Valley Pirates. I went one-on-one -on -one with skipper Charlie Reynoso. To Cal Poly Pomona we go. First of all, you have a great family feel with three different sets of siblings. Well, and obviously you're coaching your three sons on the same team. What does that mean to you? Uh, very special. I've already coached uh, the Virgin Brothers. Uh, I've had them for the last three years. And uh, to have my three kids is a fantastic feeling just because uh, it's the first time they've played together uh, on the same team. And, uh, and then the other two are the Spinoza brothers who came from Yukaipa, who um, uh, their father and I have been close and we've competed with them for about the last 10 years. And uh, it's been a, just a special time to have all three uh, brothers and we've never had it before. So uh, they're all good players and uh, they're going to enjoy playing with each other. So it's pretty neat. What are you looking forward to most this summer as the Inland Valley Pirates manager? Uh, to have fun. Quite frankly, we want to compete. We want to win as many games as we can, and we want to have a lot of fun. What went into putting together this team? Obviously, it's a brand new ball club, so what are some of the things that you had to do to get this thing started up? Uh, we, um, we had a Connie Mack team last year that won the state championship for California at 18U, and we used that nucleus, that core of players, and we built, and, uh, built other players and surrounded ourselves with other players to fill in to build this team this year. So who are some of the players this year that we're going to look forward to seeing play? Well, I think it'll start with Cody Ponce and Kevin Glom. Both pitchers throw somewhere in the 90s. Uh, Cody can get up to 92, 93, and Kevin's up in the high 80s and low 90s. So I think between the two of them, those are two uh, dynamite pitchers. We also have Taylor Valentine who gets up to 92 miles an hour. Um, and uh, hitting-wise, uh, we have an assortment of hitters, uh, about six or seven hitters that were leading the conference in junior college. On their teams, they were leading hitters. So uh, any one of those guys can be phenomenal hitters. We're going to be very balanced off offensively as well. Are there any jitters as a manager? Is there any kind of anxiousness that you, know, you just want to see the guys that you basically assembled and how they're going to pan out? Absolutely. I mean, there's the plans of just planning and bringing all the kids together. The first game of picking all the players, hand-picking them. Uh, putting all the uniforms together, uh, all, making all the plans for all the games, home, away, uh, getting the umpires ready, so absolutely, we're very excited. The excitement of Coach Reynoso has translated to the players and is evident in the way they play the game. Our next guest tells why he decided to be a Pirate for this 2013 season. Alongside Taylor Valentine, the great player for the Inland Valley Pirates, of course this is a brand new team, how did you hear about it? You know, I played with Charlie Reynoso for a couple years now and a lot of the guys on the team, so I just wanted to get back out here and play some more with them. Uh, we're just a real relaxed uh, individuals, and when we're all together, we seem to find a way to win each time. Are there any jitters to be a part of the first ever game for the Inland Valley Pirates? Uh, not really any jitters, uh, more excitement to get back out here and play with most of the guys, so I'm excited to be here. Now, you played your collegiate ball at Cal State San Bernardino. What sold you on that school? You know, I just saw that the, the coaches really bought into me and really wanted to see me develop, so I, I felt like that was a place that I wanted to be at. What's the most interesting thing that's happened to you in baseball? Uh, last year, it was, it was fun to go to uh, playoffs with the rest of my team and, and to see those guys go on and move and get drafted, and so it was exciting being around those guys. Now, obviously, this summer you're here working on something. What are you looking to work on this summer? I'm trying to get my mechanics down, uh, get ready for next year, and get a feel for what I want to do so uh, I can get drafted some year. Well, Taylor Valentine certainly has the feel. He was the first pitcher all season long to record a victory against the Palm Springs Power. Our next guest also hopes to be a major force to be reckoned with on the bump. Back out to Cal Poly Pomona we go. Alongside Kevin Glom, a D1 player for Loyola Marymount. First of all, what made you decide to go to Loyola Marymount? Uh, having both my brother and my sister go to LMU was a big part in my decision. Uh, it's a great campus, good coaching staff, and the big thing was tradition because it was pretty cool to be able to share uh, going to the same school and playing the same sports as my older brother, so that was a pretty big part of it. Now this team, this is a brand new ball club, the Inland Valley Pirates. How would you hear about this team? Um, I hadn't found a place to play yet, and my dad was calling around for leagues in California, and Coach Renoso luckily had a spot for me, and so that's why I'm here. And now obviously this summer you're here to work on something. What are you trying to improve upon this summer? Uh, I just want to face live hitters. Uh, I'm trying to work on 
uh, developing a fourth pitch, uh, the slider. So I just want to get innings and work on my pitches. You overcame an injury last year. What was the injury? And talk about kind of the rehab that you had to deal with it. Um, I broke my right hand, and basically I was going to cast for about six weeks, and then rehab for another like month and a half after that. So I'm just trying to get my arm healthy and get back to playing baseball. What are you looking forward to most this summer? Um, just meeting all the guys, hanging out, and win some games. We'll make this as interactive as we can. Let us know your thoughts. Tweet me at Dave Soberi, which is at D A V E. S-O-B-I-E-R-A-J, or at the league handle, which is at SCCBL. Using the hashtag SCCBL or of your team name will allow us the opportunity to give fans players tweets during the broadcast. Let's look at the upcoming live broadcast schedule on SCCBaseball.com. Well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the show. And we'll see you next time on Inside the SCCBL.